Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. Ring guys and gals, Tate no Yusha. We're here, Rising the Shield Hero, Season 2, Episode number 7. We're going right into this, everybody. So, I'm pretty hyped for this one. I think finally, things are starting to change with Shield Hero, where I see the momentum is moving up. I, I mean, I, I understand from listening to like light novel readers, etc., that the whole Spirit Tortoise arc was just... It just not, it wasn't handled well. Anime probably wanted just like to rush through it and get it out of the way. But you saw that at the end of last week's episode. Like last week's episode was a very quality episode. It felt really good, enjoyable, giving similar old vibes. And I'm hopeful that this episode will continue us down that trend. Um, and I feel good in saying that Shield Hero might be back. Granted, I've been enjoying this season. This season has had rough moments, all in all. But all, I mean, I've been fine. I've been fine. I haven't been hating on this series much. Um, but I'm excited to see if we're going to get some better content. So with that, let's hop into this episode, everybody. Smash that like button. It's greatly appreciated. We're going to begin. And of course, as always, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description box down below. I do all of my live reactions here on the Twitch side. Come through, hop in chat. And we have a good time. That indeed. Okay, so with that, we're going to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <clears throat> I got like pepper stuck in my throat. I mean, like, french fries on the side that I made, and... <laughs> but the, I, like, spiced really well, and it's, like, stuck in my throat. Oh, what? Oh, that? Nafumi Sa Sama. Put respect on his name. No son is Sama. I'm so happy Risha got her moment as well last week. Risha went in. Our crew became a shooting star. I guess when they jumped through the portal. But where's Natalia? And Phil? What is this to your eternity? Oh, don't even mention to your eternity. I just feel sad. To your eternity just makes me feel sad. Does he have a new shield? Is that just his base shield? Can he not use his... He's in a new world. Oh, no. Yo, we're going back to the grind. We're back to the grind days. What? They... You guys literally got isekai into another world. Oh, there's Raftalia. Oh, baby Raftalia! We're back to the OG days! Remember when Lark had to grind end of season one? You're right, that is right. Yo, old Raftalia, let's go! Or young Raftalia. Yo. Oh, I'm hyped. Oh, these are the vibes I wanted. I'm very down for all of this. I'm down for all of this right now. I want so much to reach to get to be the one who the phone go whatever. I, I know I wanted that too. This is interesting. Okay, so when you guys mentioned we're getting like season one vibes, we literally are getting season one vibes. Also, don't don't call me weird. Um, is it bad that I'm kind of really happy that Raftali is back to being like young? I don't know. I wonder that. I wonder how people feel about that. But I like young Raftalia. It's just like I'm getting all these good vibes, and like when now when we had the old shield, I'm like, oh, back to the grind. But James, you made a good point about Lark in particular from season one. New world had to grind. This is very interesting. It will stop people shipping them temporarily. You know, maybe that's why I like it. Maybe that's why. I've, I've always been on the side of the fact that Raftalia's daughter status. I'm like, yo, James, don't do this to me, guys. Don't do it to me. Please. Please have mercy on my career. Don't do this. Don't end my career. <laughs> Such a wrong place to clip that. Uh, I was about to give a spoiler for Violet Evergarden, but I don't know people watch or are up to date so I'll stay quiet but I, I digress 
Oh, maybe fetal is an egg. Oh, synchron, that does make sense with glass. Oh. Dude, what was Reptile? Reptile can't do anything now. We're really all the way back. She has confidence now, though. Guys, this makes me so happy. Man, Reptile, you're not killing anything. <laughs> But she has confidence now. She knows what to do. I love this. This is like some super do stuff. Not to bring everything back to re zero, but this is like super do when he was just like, we're going to reset to zero. After you destroyed Rum's heart. Real talk though, where is Fido? Yeah, so I cooked them before I started. I cooked like french fries. I have an air fryer, so I like cook the french fries and stuff. It came out very good, very well seasoned. Wait, where are they now? Yes, guys, I'm a chef. I actually cook a lot. Very big on cooking. I also fried some plantain before this as well. And some chicken. What the? Back into the forest. Or I guess it's called the jungle. Nah, it's not raw. Gordon Ramsay be proud. <laughs> Where is Fido? Could you imagine if she actually was an egg? That'd be wild. And Lee, look, I know you, I've seen, well, you've told me about a lot of the stuff you do. Like, I know you big on cooking. Leave you out here making like karage and curry. Love it. Ew. Back in the old days. The original grind. I refuse to ship him with Risha. I, I refuse. Absolutely refuse. Why cardboard? Honestly, I think some of the best things in games, just my personal experience, is the early game, early parts in the game where you're grinding and like growing are always like the best parts to me. Trashed. Yo, Risha's just like, yo, I'm useful now. Let's go. Guys, this is so precious. I love this episode. Reship becomes useful when everyone gets reset to one. Ew. Is that a kappa? I was right. It is a kappa. Raphtalia! Now for me! What about you at your level?
Ralph Talia. I love it because, like, this is a what if rep. If Nafumi was not slandered, if you touch Raftalia. Who? Oh, she saved us. Oh, my. Oh, my. They definitely were going to die. Kizuna, Bonds. The hunting hero? So we have another cardinal hero. I'm the shield hero. It did. It did look like Rui's web strings. Oh, she knows about Japanese people. Let's go. Two Japanese people. Oh, that makes sense. Like the armor he has currently right now is probably too advanced. Has he changed his armor that much? This? I guess he has. We never get Western folk. We not we not represented out here in the West. We not represented in these isekai. All the gods is just like nah. We'll just keep taking from Japan. I like this girl. <clears throat> Ever since he got locked up. That's true. They don't have the waves. Hold up. That means their world had, huh? Are they from this world? They're from this world. What? Also, James, on no cap. If I got Isekai, you know exactly what I'm looking for. I'm summoning Glockiana. <laughs> I'm ready. I know where my protection will be. She's 18. Nah, this is dangerous. Nope, 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 nope. Yo, just shut up. Now from just shut up. <laughs> I hear legal. Nah. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Nope. These just like lolly, huh? Are they? Everything. Everything. Dead. That's how Nalfin be died. Interesting. I'm down to eat. Let's go.
Ooh. Malcolm was just like, I challenge you to a cook-off. Uh, some things on that plate don't look that good. There are some questionable things on that plate, but overall it looks good. They're like, where are these chopsticks you, you speak of? Where are these chopsticks? Aw. Yo, Young Raftalia is cute. I can't. I'm going to start a petition. Bring back old Raftalia. Of course I can do better. Man. I've been cooking up some skewers, some steak. Like a nice vegetable stir fry. I'm ready. Aw. Starting my petition, bring back young Raftalia. Banana. <laughs> the banana stuff did look good. That I can't make. It's like, did you not hear that she's trapped? Yes, Kizuna meets Bond. Which is why I find her name very interesting. <clears throat> I love how she's literally just like, I've been trapped this entire time. Now feels like, I time to leave. I'm like, did you not just hear her? I try. She's like, you don't believe me? You try to get out of here. A very long time. I'm so sad about Aust. Oh, maybe time didn't pass. That's a good... Oh. Hey, maybe you're right, actually. Maybe time doesn't pass for her. I didn't even think about that, James. But that's a very good point. No. Oh, this is, this hits. I do wonder, I feel like if I'm in this situation, if any of us are in this situation, at what point would we possibly just give up? That is the question. Let's see what we got here. Hmm? What is it? So why didn't you just go to the dimension? Blocked. Blocked. You can't get through. That's why. I saw the same thing. I was like, you were you just scared to go through the portal? I was like, never mind. But does that mean if you go maybe the other direction, you might find the entrance? Maybe? Yeah, I hate invisible walls in games as well.
You hack it. You hack the game. That's what you do. You look at Naofumi looking like a boss. I mean Naofumi-sama. Naofumi? What is he doing? What is he doing? What is this plant? Is he going to use the plant to like break the barrier? Is he going to expand it to the point where he puts it stresses it? He's going to stress it. Yeah. Girl, trust him. Girl, you better trust him. Jump in. You have one job. Just jump. Plot. Hey, it's all about them bonds. Forging them bonds. Look at Naofumi. Naofumi, gay, day one, figures it all out. If I'm Keys, then I'd be like, dang, I spent years and you'd figure this out in like one day. <laughs> Rishia. Are they in Japan? Plot to us back in the real world. Uh, honestly, this, despite the, the laws of... I'm perfectly fine for being part of the group. I support Kizuna and I, I want her to join the party. Kiss him. Kiss him. <laughs> Kiss him and make everyone riot. Make the shippers angry. <laughs> oh, this is good stuff. In all seriousness, it's very happy. Love how they make me care about this character after like one episode. Good writing. Nah, Raftal is just like, nah, this girl had too much of a will to live. Can't be jealous of her. Good stuff. This might have been my favorite episode. I think this is my favorite episode, honestly, of S.H.I.E.L.D. here so far. She has a bigger rod than that. Man. <laughs> it's like I have to read these comments sometimes. I can't. <laughs> she does. That she does. <laughs> Oh, maybe they feature Fido in the ending because Fido separated from everybody. Are there just four heroes in the overworld as well, or there are more? I go assume four because the way they say the four cardinal heroes, I mean, I assume there has to be four. You have Lark, Glass, Heroes of the Book, and Keys in the Hunting. I think that's it. I think that's your four. If these worlds really do parallel each other, it makes sense. Not to mention they all call themselves the four cardinal heroes. It's interesting. She wasn't in the same dimension. Well, remember though, I think what's happening is that if I'm understanding this correctly, if let's say you're having the waves in Naofumi's world, then the waves aren't happening there. So she must have been in a time period where when she was with them, there were no waves. And then also she gets stuck in the infinite place. Once Naofumi them starts defeating the waves and doing all their stuff, the waves came back to this world. If I'm understanding this correctly, I could be 100% wrong, everybody. Um, and if I am, please let me know. But that's the way I'm understanding it. So she literally did not know about the ways. 
Lark and them know about the waves because the waves started coming because of the success now Fumi was having in his world. That must be why she didn't know it was, it? but if the waves were in their world, why wouldn't they want to end it? But that's what I'm saying. I think the waves were at some point in their world. I don't think so when if I understand timelines and stuff, things happening on those sides, that's why glass came. I think so as well. I think so as well. But I think there's a timing effect to all of it where I think whenever she was whenever Kizuna was involved with the Ever Cardinal Heroes, um, is a possibility that there are no waves. This is, I don't think she's lying, that she hasn't seen any waves. And after she gets put into the infinite prison, whatever you want, the, the world, um, obviously what she knew is that there were no waves. At some point in time, the waves must have been coming to this world of Lark, Glass, etc. Um, which is why Kizan does not know about it. Kills the only trash one, that's fine. Because not from his world, three of the four are trash. Dang. Dang, and that bounces it out. That's perfect. Only one good hero in one world, three good in the other ones. I can't. But um, everyone, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below for the usual. Those on Twitch as well, let me know. Um, that's where I'm understanding what's happening. But again, I think that with the situation with Lark and why him and um, Naofumi, the odds, like my understanding is that for all the stuff that Naofumi has done in their world, it has caused a negative impact on the world of Lark and Glass, etc. From the standpoint of the waves. But this is all stuff that then the Kizuna would not know about. Because Kizuna has been trapped for some time clearly in that prison. They ran out of IQ and gave it all to now for me. They're just like, oh, let's just, take, just give them all the IQ. Oh, man. But anyway, everyone. Like the video, like the video. Subscribe, like my content. is greatly appreciated as always. And with that, I'm Leonard and I'm out. Take care and have a good one. Peace.